Hey, how's it going? It's Sunday, the big last online championship is in the books. It's been uh, incredible for my team. Four of them made the top eight, eight of them in top 16. An incredible performance. Um, unfortunately, not for me. I Day two was not very successful. I was in good position to at least requalify for the Pro Tour in 2023 um, by going nine and six. I was eight and five. I had to win one out of the next two. I lost both. Not gonna lie, I uh, I was pretty uh, crashed. I was pretty pretty bummed out. I actually I actually crashed on my floor and cried. It was it was pretty devastating. But um, life goes on, and I'm I'm very grateful for the opportunity of being in the MPL and and having this this prestigious um, status, and then having an incredible season in 2021 to allow me to play all these tournaments and be part of this. Um, but yeah, now it's all crashing. It's all it's all back to to zero, from zero to hero to zero. I don't want to complain or anything. I don't want to play the victim. I've I've had a good run, but uh, it's 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 tough on you. <laughs> when uh, yeah, I'm I'm basically not qualified for anything. I'm just like you, uh, now playing the regional championship um, to then try to requalify for the pro tour. But that probably means more tournaments actually for me to play in, and 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 yeah, I mean, I'm gonna lick my wounds for a couple of days, and um, I'm gonna bounce back. And today, after this video, I'll cheer on my my teammates who absolutely crushed it. Oh man, I I definitely chose the wrong decks. I also was unlucky, to be fair. I, I lost like a lot of die rolls and um, close matches that I lost. I made. Obviously, I also made misplays, I think, against Reed Duke. If I would have sequenced in a different way, I perhaps could have clinched the ninth victory, the ninth match win. Um, in any case, I did not choose the right decks. My teammates chose the right decks. Dragonstorm and Food both completely crushed it. To be fair, humans, which I chose in Historic, also performed incredibly. Not in my hands. I went 4-4 four and four with the deck. Um, I think if I would have chose, chosen food, I would have had a lot better record in Historic and maybe wouldn't be here crying. Um, but in any case, life goes on and I, I'll definitely do the content uh, route and then record videos and all that, no matter what my pro status is, no matter what I am in that ranking. But obviously it's a big, it's a big hit. It's, it's a financial hit and, um, a big status hit and yeah i uh, one season of glory <laughs> back to zero so enough sentimental nonsense from me um i hope you didn't mind this too much i have this teamer control deck in front of me which was one of my opponents uh, a japanese team brought this deck um it was built by noriyuki mori who is also in the mpl um and yeah it's a sweet deck i got beaten by it in the tournament i played esper midrange which maybe yeah was just a, the overall medium choice, um, and this deck beat me pretty badly. Um, I lost the die roll and I drew badly as well against them. But yeah, the deck was impressive, let's say, and um, I, I like the idea what's going on here. Basically, is it control with Goldspan Dragon and Galazad Prismari? Interestingly enough, Galazad Prismari is not vanishing versatile, so there's that upside. And um, yeah, just a 3-4 body, it's a decent blocker. <laughs> you just don't attack into the Wandering Emperor, I suppose. And it helps you ramp into Titan of Industry, um, which is this big payoff spell in this deck to stabilize you, to yeah, basically show up matchups that maybe otherwise wouldn't be so good, and to give you this entirely different angle of attack. And then we have Fable of the Mirror Breaker with the Titan, to have this incredible late game engine of, of being able to copy Titan and yeah, just winning games that way. And to get there, you just have the, the usual removal suite, right? Some fading hopes, some negates, some dragons, fire, exploration, and so on. You have some memory deluges as card draw, two sweepers here, and that's the deck. Um, I have a, I worked on a similar deck, like is it control without the Titan essentially, but just also fable and more counter spells. Um, this deck definitely looks cool against the Esper decks. It's really preying on those. 
Here in the sideboard, we have additional tools against Esper with these Comas. They are kind of difficult to beat. I mean, depends on the Esper list. Like, our team had three Inferno Grasp and one Void Rent. So if your opponent plays a Coma, you just Inferno Grasp it. That's fairly easy. <laughs> but if they just have Vanishing Verse, of course, this card is very good. Um, then you have some whole break ours. This is a lot of seven drops for one deck, by the way. Like, wow. But I guess the, the Titan package perhaps leaves the deck. I don't know about their plans, but I would do it that way in, in some of these matchups. For example, in control matchups, a seven drop sorcery, uh, not so good, especially if Disdainful Stroke is in the post games running around. Yeah, and so therefore we see a Holbrek Aura probably to win the Control Mirrors. With some Chariots, another value card, perhaps also against mid-range, against Control. Um, some Prismary Command, interestingly enough. Uh, sorry, yeah? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry about that. And we have some Disdainful Strokes to help against Goldspan, Dragonstorm, Combo in the Goldspan Mirrors. Um... Reckoner Bankbuster, interesting choice as well. I saw a lot of Japanese players play it. I also played two in the sideboard of my Esper midrange deck, which, yeah, Reckoner Bankbuster is very good against Esper, essentially. It's very good against anyone who tries to... I mean, it's just good against anyone who tries to either go at you with counter spells or with discard. And especially against Esper, they maybe have one Void Rant. That's their way to deal with a Bankbuster. And um, then it can just sort of run away with the game itself if you just have the time to activate it. It's a very, very good card in the meta game right now. Yep, that's the deck. And um, I mean, you all know how much I love me is it decks. And this is hopefully right up my alley. Let's see how uh, difficult or how easy it is to... Sorry, I uh, put the volume up. How difficult or easy it will be to um, get that titan into play because i mean we are a blue red deck all of a sudden playing a triple green card you know it's it's a little it's a little wild but perhaps worthwhile it's definitely a sweet deck that is for sure i would like to play first Ooh, no blue mana i think that's a mulligan for me if i had a fable i would keep but without a fable that's not good enough this is much better Okay, I'm just going to put the sweeper away. Um, it doesn't really matter which land I play first, does it? If I have... Yeah, I mean, I have both blue and red here, so it does not really matter that much. I guess I'll play this first, because this goes on blue if I draw a Javari Disruption or a Negate. And then I have a second blue for this, because... Hmm, because I actually... I, I, if I played the Cascade, then I would have to play this on red, and then I wouldn't have double blue. So, yeah, this is the way to do it. Playing against Esper here. I could just keep up these Javai Disruptions, technically. Especially if they have, like, a Rafine here. Maybe I'll do so. I I'm not quite confident about this, but Rafine would be a little annoying, wouldn't it be? And if they play a 2-drop, I can kill it, at least. So there's not, not anything that can really bother me here. So do we play Deluge, or do we play Fable? So if, if I play Fable, they have Wandering Emperor, they make a 2-2, two -two, I attack, or they kill my 2-2, two -two, and then I Dragon's Fire it. I mean, that's fine. Mm, I think I'll go with the Fable. It's not the most mana-efficient play, but it's just... Getting onto the board is important, and, um, yeah. Getting Fable out as soon as possible is definitely what I want to be doing. There's another Rafine, alright. Gold spam. That means I can cleanly kill the Rafine. I really, really want to draw a land here, actually. A red land. Damn it. Um, because then I could play Goldspan, attack with both, kill the Rafine. That'd be pretty nasty. Um, okay. So I could Deluge and then try to find an untapped land and then Fading Hope the, the creature over there. But if I just attack with this, what's my turn going to look like? They go spam post combat. I could do that, but that's pretty unexciting against Vanishing Verse. I think I just go for the Fading Hope line. Okay. Do I want more lands? Do I want a Titan of Industry? Um, 
I wouldn't be up to five lands. I'll use my treasure here for the Fading Hope. Pay one ward. Then I have five mana. I don't have red right now. It's unfortunate. So I can't play the gold spend next turn. Mm, I probably just want to go with the Titan, right? Like I, I should get there with my treasure generators. And I can Fading Hope my... Oh, maybe I should have put some green. <gasps> I mean, I do have two green already. But that was maybe a slight misstep. Yeah. I already have four blue. Four blue is a lot. So I perhaps should have put that on green. Okay. Let's find a red source, please. Mm. I think I might still keep that, honestly, though. Tough. Because if I attack, I can then just play Titan. They let me. Sounds good to me, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Fable is very good against Esper. That's just um, how it is. Fable is very good in this matchup. And um, also a reason why my teammates played Dragonstorm with four Fables, which is unusual. But it's just so incredible against Esper. So I'm going to make a Rhino for sure, and then I'm going to give a shield counter to something. To the Titan? To the Kiki? It's just, uh, the, the, the shield kind of doesn't protect against... I'll just give it to the Rhino, maybe. The shield counter does not protect against Inferno Grasp. Uh, sorry, it does protect against Vanishing Verse, of course, so... I don't want to give it any of my... I mean, maybe the Kiki, because he has to kill this anyways with Vanishing Verse. But then Kiki dies to Mitok anyway, so this is like the only... The Rhino is the only card that I could see not getting Vanishing Verse, but later on in combat try to do you know messing around and that's why i put the fa put the count on it if that makes any sense okay upon missed land drops i was on a play and had a good draw Did a... by the way i would also play forge of eye disruption that card is just very very good um play four in any case what's up here um i like the sweepers i think i could, i go down with the titans Mm, Fading Hope, Flame Blast, Bolt. I kind of like everything, to be for, to be honest with you. I, I guess Coma is for this matchup, isn't it? Um, Fading Hope is pretty good against Rafine. Da, 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 da. I could trim like a gold span. It's not the greatest. Chariot, I mean... Doesn't really interact with Rafine well, but... Could be decent. Counter spells I don't really like that much. Bolt is good against the Underdog. Mm, these prismatic commands they confuse me what are they for maybe red black sacrifice should i play another titan just for a big titan is like a two for one it's a seven seven and a four four but they can just vanish reverse it it also destroys vetting announcements sometimes that's pretty good but i'm worried that i'm making my deck a little too clunky um Fading out, maybe. How many lands am I playing? 25 lands plus 6, 26, 29. That's a lot of lands. Mm, I, I'm, I'm guessing a little bit in the dark here on what to do. Um, Bankbuster is maybe a little slow on the draw. Depends on the opponent's draw, really. But if they're an aggressively slanted version, which they usually aren't nowadays, Bankbuster is definitely a little too slow. You also do have Deluge, which is a similar card to Bankbuster. Which is curious, right? Like, Bankbuster is good if you don't play blue, especially because you don't have that Memory Deluge type of card that just gets you up on a lot of cards. But if you play blue, do you also want to have Bankbuster? Perhaps. You want to have a split of both, I guess? Maybe, yeah. Um. So we put this on blue, then we have red, red, blue. The reason why I didn't end up playing is it was because Rafine essentially. If they curved out on you and the Planeswalkers, Rafine, all that stuff, it's just uh, the Esper matchup does not feel that great. Mm. Yeah. 
Maybe Titan of Industry changes things because it gives you that stabilizing power. Do I want to bounce this? Probably not. There's no rush, honestly, right? I mean, they likely have a counter spell here or some sort of removal. If I'm playing Esper, I'm playing free strokes in the future, by the way. That's definitely happening. Um, free disdain for stroke. All right, Fable is just so, so good against Esper. I love it. How do I play this? Just Fable, Javari Disruption? If they have Negate, that wouldn't be great, but hey, what can you do? Mm, I could keep up Fading Hope for the Underdog, but I also want to get my tap land down. Do I have Negate, yeah? No. Okay. Okay, sure. See, like, they just had to 2 for 1 themselves against my free drop. It's so brutal. It's so brutal. That's exactly what I had to do as well against when I played this matchup yesterday, last night. Kaito is a good way to catch up on cards. I won't let Kami go mm. my family's together. I'll take that. Yeah. Blocking the underdog does not sound like a winning play. Alright. So here if they have stroke, it'd be kinda rough, so I think I'll play around that. Um What do I do? I think take the dragon to hand, exile the iteration, cast another iteration. The Okay, so I could take a land or a battle of Frost and Fire. I guess I'll take the battle. Yeah, I suspect that my opponent has. It is Danvis Stroke the way they played these games. They don't have a Vanishing Verse. Here I'm gonna bounce because of Kaito. I don't want them to draw cards. No, I think not. Like ninja, all right. Bet she can't catch us. Four cards left. If I go gold span, they might have Wandering Emperor. That would not be a great exchange. Mm. Three cards left. Mm. Gold span. Godspin, they might also have the Interceptor. Hmm. I'll just go to Expressive. I can still cast a 5 drop afterwards. Gather Zepris, Mari, and Fable. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think I'll play the Gutter Z here. Resolves. So if I attack the Kaito, get a treasure. I just want to have all the mana I can get. And if they trade, that's fine. Like it's very likely to have a Wandering Emperor here, I feel. But I'm, like, happy to do whatever. Yeah, if you want to do this, that's fine. Okay. Last turn. I mean, I could play Fable, but I would lose all my treasures. I don't like that. So now I have 5, 6, 9 mana, so... Maybe I can go double 5 drop next turn. That was weird, by the way. They didn't do anything for their turn. Very, very interesting. Mm, do you want to bounce this ninja? I kind of want to deny them resources. Oh, 
let's see. Well, I think that's too many. So I don't know what's going on here. They don't have Emperor, that's clear. Maybe they have Interceptor? Maybe they do have Emperor, I don't know. If I play Goldspan, I get 7 mana. I can play another Goldspan then. If I play Goldspan, they have Stroke. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm at the point where I'm just... Yeah, it's fine. Like, if, if you have Stroke, you have Stroke. They don't. So now what's going on? Maybe they just kept with the Warning Emperor? Alright, in, uh, in that case, I think I'm just gonna... Cast a gold span. Number two. Yeah. They might have Meetook Massacre. That'd be... That could be a thing. Kill the Kaito. They can maybe kill one of my dragons here, if they do have Emperor. Okay, they essentially used Emperor more as a removal spell. Reasonable. Alright, Kaito is down, they have one card in hand, they have one Rafine. I have six mana here. Six mana. Um, I could just Expressive. Mm, I could just use Favor. It's also interesting, how do I use the Expressive? Do I want to use it tapping 2? I think I want to just use it tapping 2, yeah. Hmm. So now I can kill off the Emperor, I guess. Or the Rafine. Oh, nice. Alright. Um, burn down the house. No, I think I'll take the Negate. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. here I gotta be careful to not uh, not have them have the arena auto tap. I used the the ref, uh, the, the Galazet way of using the treasure. Okay, me took massacre. That'd be one way to get out of this. Okay, so now I could negate this vanishing verse. I should probably go ahead and do so. I mean, I clearly don't have Mito Massacre. Um, yeah. okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Rank 56. Yeah, the, that, I guess that's the thing. Like, if Esper draws really well and has, like, a disdainful stroke at the right time, like, if they go Lumina into Rafine or into Wedding Announcement and Kaito, etc., Warning Emperor, Obscura Interceptor, Negates, Disdainful Strokes, have the removal. If they their draws lines up, it's very difficult to beat that deck, right? The Esper deck is just like the, all the cards are powerful. They hit hard. Difficult to beat. Um, but if they don't, if they stumble, these is it decks. They get time. They have, then they can deploy things. And the late game is usually, I mean, the late game is, is better for for this type of deck than Esper. Esper has to snowball early on. I mean, this hand's fine. I'm on a draw, so if my opponent has like a Lumina Gasparant here, I might just die. Rockfill Veil, vale. okay. Maybe Junt? Mm -hmm. This is a matchup where I'm very happy with my Esper list. I'm also, I, I in the tournament, I beat two Esper opponents and two Junt opponents. Like, I, 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 I was definitely happy with the mirror matches that situation but with this deck i don't know junt could be trouble because junt hits pretty hard and has good tools to uh, i mean junt is pretty bad against titan though right titan is really good against junt you blow up i don't know fable what have you um we'll see we'll see has he got chariot no okay that's also negatable and then we play prashmari And in two turns, we have the Titan coming down. Okay. Sure, I go to 11. It's fine, it's fine. One's down to two. 
They discarded a Ren 7, what does that tell me? It's a nice draw, it's some assurance against any Planeswalker shenanigans. Um, I can blow that up with Titan. I'm at 8. I can make the Rhino blow that up with Titan. Nah. I'll just negate. There are ways for me to fall behind if I do that. I'm just gonna make a 4-4 four, four and gain 5. Play it super safe. No shield counters. Like, if they kill my stuff, I don't really care. I have more. They might have Riveteer's Charm. Alright, I mean, Titan of Industry is one hell of a stabilizer. Especially against Fable Chariot type of deck. Oh, Freelance, that's brutal. Okay. That's fine. Rebuke. Um. I have the late game secured. I'm just gonna chill here. Stay back. Cast my deluge. Do nothing. If they kill Titan, I have a blocker for the chariot. Okay. Attack me. Okay. All right. Hi. <laughs> Bolt is good against Mr. Underdog over there. This got two. This got the rebuke. Okay. Hi. You want to concede? No? Rhino destroy. Yeah. Alright. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Koma definitely not good here because they have Riveteer's Charm. Pretty good against Koma. I guess Prismatic Command could be for this matchup, huh? Fading Hope I like not so much. Um, Rebuke. It's good against Rafine, but not here. Bolt is good. Prismatic Command. Burn on the house, they are good. Bankbuster is not terrible either. Maybe you have one. One is okay. Dragon's Fire, Negate. I like Negate here for sure. I'd like to have another Negate, honestly. The, this deck looks a little weak against uh, runes, perhaps. I don't know. It doesn't have that much cheap interaction. Like, Negate, Bolt, no Annulls. I, I know the Grixis Vampires deck, they had free Annulls because they really respect runes. And runes is strong. I mean, it's this deck doesn't really respect runes. Maybe a good meta call. Who knows? I mean, maybe maybe you get tightened down easily, and then you just tighten Kiki against runes. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe that works. It's definitely a sweet idea for sure. This entire deck. So I'm playing twenty nine lands. It's a lot of lands. Maybe I could cut one of those. Um, just go ahead and cut an island, and chariots. This seem kind of nice here. I'm not gonna lie. Galazad Prismary. It's also not bad, I guess. It's, it's not bad. The sweepers are good. Goldspan. Maybe Goldspan is mediocre. Just gets killed by Riveteer's Charm. I mean, how, how, how mediocre can a Goldspan be? But on the draw, it's not the greatest, you know what I mean? Like, on a draw... You might, uh... Yeah, you, you, like, the haste part isn't that good if you're under pressure. Like, are you trying to race with this deck? No. It's not a Dragonstorm deck where you can all of a sudden play Goldspan and win the game. 
Ooh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna keep, but this could this could go wrong. This could go wrong. If they have a duress for my bankbuster, I'm probably dead. Kalas of Prismari looks really nice. I'm, I'm definitely keeping two copies in this matchup. Just in general in these mid-range fights. The extra mana for the Titan. It's kind of nice. This deck is not playing any big scores or anything like that, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Mm. But it sort of makes sense. I mean, big score is not great against counter magic. Wow, they're just doing nothing. Okay. I love that. I mean, that's not going to win them the game. <laughs> I don't know what they're kept. If, if I don't have a 2 or 3 drop play, if I'm on the play in a mid-range mirror, I'm probably not keeping my hand. I can tell you that much. I'm probably not keeping. So here I can blow up the chariot, make a treasure, and then play Galazet. Yeah, sounds good. Or I could just draw a card for Bankbuster, but that would put me behind. I could also kill a cat instead of making a treasure. I could also leave them with the chariot, because I can blow up the chariot later on with the titan. Options, options, options. Okay, if I kill a cat, they're gonna play another creature and attack me for six. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy chariot and then treasure or kill cat. I mean, I do have two titans in my hand here. I kinda want the treasures. Killing the kitties, sorry. Killing the kitties is pretty good too. Then I play Galazet, they kill Galazet, I crew, they can't even attack. I mean, the kitties don't do anything though. I think I'll just make a treasure. Yeah, maybe this Prismary Command is for this matchup in particular. No, I'm one land away of slamming a Titan down. Okay, this hand was a two lander. We drew two lands and a prismatic man. Pretty good. We do have, we did have Bankbuster to draw us into more stuff. And my opponent just had the slowest driver. Just as a rule of thumb, when you're on the play, don't keep a hand that doesn't at least have a free drop with a, on the play. Like on the draw, it's fine to. I mean, in this matchup, you really have to be the aggressor. And yeah, like no, my opponent has to be the aggressor. They have to mulligan to a hand that at best curves out on me and kill me. Because if I get to the long game with this stuff. I mean, they're not winning against me. Like, what junt deck? They have like a bunch of planeswalkers. Maybe they can outgrind titans, but it seems unlikely. For example, in the Esper Mirror, when I'm on the play, I usually want to keep a hand that has like proactive elements. At least a free drop that I can de deploy on turn three. If I'm on the draw in the Esper Mirror match, like Esper Midrange, then I'm fine having a hand with Vanishing Verse negates me to Massacres. Then I don't need to be the proactive. But if, if you're on the play, you, you rather really want to be the proactive because then you want to snowball. And if you're on the draw, you want to have Ray of Enfeeblements, etc. to not have your opponent snowball on you. Yeah, I'll just uh, crew. See, the cats don't do anything here. Expressive iteracione. Alright. <laughs> titan. Another Titan. <laughs> That's probably too much. It's probably too much. Um, okay. I'm at 20 still, like this game. I can I can deploy a Titan next turn. Pawn has five cards. This deck is cool for sure. It seems like a nice mid-range killer. I'm certainly curious to, to work more on my Esper list, because I think you can tune Esper for any particular metagame. And my list definitely wasn't the perfect, the most perfect yet. Um, and I kind of want to tune it more. 
All right, I'll just draw a card here, then I make a Rhino destroy the chariot. Okay. It's a lot of red cheap spells. They didn't make a land drop, four spells in hand. I mean, this game is not quite over yet, but I'm looking to be ahead here. Uh, Reno and destroy. And we'll play a spike field. And pass. Chariot is pretty good with the, the Titan as well. He copied the rhinos. I bring in, I brought in the chariots, right? Yeah, I did. Man, this deck is sweet. I, I definitely like it. Okay. Still can't attack. Yeah. I mean, they could. They could just throw away a cat for six damage. Do you want that? Hmm. Maybe I should have crewed. If I crew, though, they can kill the Bankbuster, which I don't want. Alright. Um, play Fable. Pass. Keeping... Free cards. They like those. Yeah, Titan is incredible in these mirror like I remember at the very beginning of the format, I played Junt myself and I put like one or two Titans in my deck just to beat the Junt mirror match because everybody was playing Junt on like the first days and Titan was just like blowing up Fables, Chariots, just stabilizing left and right. All right. That is a big creature. Mm -hmm. Let's put a stop here in my main phase because I might I could draw a card here with the Bankbuster to get another look and then to maybe loot another card away. Hmm. I don't have any fading hopes in my deck, so this five five is actually a little bit of an issue. Um, phew, I don't actually know if I want to discard anything here. I kind of need to land as well, but I, I do want to find something like Memory Deluge. So at some point I'm going to run out of cards. Could discard the land. Don't necessarily need it. Colors at Prismary is a little underwhelming too. But yeah, I guess. Um... I have one Titan on top, on the bottom of my deck, yeah. Hmm. Let's just do this, I guess. Okay. Another Fable. How about I attack with this 2-2 two, two on the Ren and 7 and see what they do? I just block for Kitty. That'd be the smart move. I think I'll just play Titan, make another Rhino, 
blow up the Fable and Flameless Bolt to round 7 here. If they block the Kitty, which they do, okay. I could also wait a turn, play another Fable, play Prismary Command, maybe blow this up that way, keep the Bolt for later. Getting the Titan on the board seems kind of appealing though. And, and killing the Ren and 7 off, it's just, yeah. We have a 5-5, five, five, I have a 7-7, seven, seven. Sounds, sounds good to me. I, I worked on Junt a lot as well. And one of my teammates ended up playing Junt and made the top eight. Carl Sarap is in the top eight and playing it out later today um, with Junt. Uh, I just didn't like. I wanted to have counter spells essentially. <laughs> counter spells felt so much better in this card against big scores and dragons and all these things. You know, the rest isn't as good these days. My opponent might just be playing his list, by the way. Like. Uh, no, actually not. Hagra Mauling wasn't part of... But otherwise, Ren and 7, Carl is definitely playing the Ren and 7 as well. Okay. Um, let's start by drawing a card to the Bankbuster. Drag's fire. So I could double kill the tree folk and then start bashing the double block block take seven go to 11. i uh, yeah, they know about this prismary command um they do have an underdog i have the kiki and the titan so that's a winning um, recipe having those I could double block the Titan now. This is my opportunity to kill the Tree Folk. And I should take it. Right, like, this might grow into a 7 7 next turn. And I don't have any fading hopes. So, this is definitely what I'm gonna do here. The question is now how much I do I, I wanna attack with. I'm at 16 here. Could just attack with the, the Rhinos. See what they do, they double block. Hmm. Maybe I just don't do anything. Because I have this Prismary command, I can blow up a potential double block. I mean, I could triple block and block one. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just chill, honestly. Not sure about this, not sure. Right, they need to find a removal for either of my creatures. Then we're still looking good. They didn't. Alright. Nice. Okay, I was this this matchup seems good too. <laughs> Junt seems good. Asper seems like a good matchup. Um, we haven't talked about the Dragon Storm deck yet. <laughs> I think that's not a good matchup. At least not in game one. Game one, Dragon Storm is gonna obliterate you because you, this, the removal you have is not that good, and the, you don't have enough pressure, and you don't have any counter spells for Dragon game one. So game one, Dragon Storm is gonna beat you, and then in the post board games, Dragon Storm will likely. Also, I mean, you have the strokes, so it becomes a lot more interesting, but. It's like an even playing field in a way, because they also have counter magic. So, tough. This end is a little slow. I'm gonna keep though, I have good mana. Stormcraft Coast. Yeah, so Dragonstorm is certainly ahead against this. But that is that is just the format, you can't beat them all. And one reason why I played Esper, uh, or the version of Esper that I played, was that I think my, ma my matchup against Dragonstorm is, is, is decent. And I expected a lot of people to bring Dragonstorm, actually. I could express a duration, just, you know, what 
tell. Behold, saw it coming. Nah, whatever. Yeah, but I lost twice against Dragonstorm. I lost the die roll in one of the games. Yeah. I lost, like, that was really crazy how I lost that game. My opponent ripped the Fading Hope. They had one out, they had one card in hand, I knew what it was, and they ripped the Fading Hope. They went, oh, it was so brutal. It was, like, the worst possible combination of cards. In any case, and the other one I lost against a teammate where I made a... Yeah, I just... I, I, I kept the hand that was risky, and I, I kept the five land hand, which I shouldn't have kept in the first place, and I drew three lands off the top. <laughs> yeah, no, wasn't wasn't great. Everybody's playing Fable. God, it's kind of boring, not gonna lie. Saw it coming. Okay. Yeah. Could have not played into it, I guess, or could have played my Galazet. Maybe it would have been better. But if it's a behold, I really like playing Gold Spin there. Yeah. That is a shock. That smells like a whole break horror, if I may say so. Which is a scary one. Maybe I should have taken blue land there. Oh, I'm running a little uh, because it's a green land for the Titan, but I do already have two green sources. Yeah, so if it's actually a hole breaker, I have one fading hope. My opponent's at 17. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It is. That's the best card in Izzet Mirrors, and my opponent has it in the main deck. Yikes. One more fading up in my deck. Hmm. I could technically also find Dragon's Fire. Oh, they're actually not going for it. Huh. Interesting. A rock, if I may. I'm happy that they oh they oh because they use the treasure, right? They don't have the mana. <gasps> nice. Alright. Now I feel good about this game. Now the horror is just too slow. I have seven mana here. What do I want to proceed? Um, they're ten. So they could gain uh, eight mana next turn, I guess. Six, seven, attack, eight. They might have full breaker plus a one drop. I could kill this Kiki. I could play my own Kiki. Da, 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 da. I could also find a second Dragon's Fire, then I have 8 damage on the whole breaker. So if they go whole break, I'd put them down to free life, kill the Kiki off. Kiki doesn't seem that good here, like this Kiki, because it's just gonna get blocked by the whole breaker. Um I could find something like Flame Blast Bolt. I think I'll just marry Deluge right here. Maybe in the upkeep is better. What if I find a land though? Hmm. That is good against the full breaker. Um, Titan. Titan's pretty good too. It's a good card in general. Um, but I could also take the land here. How is this gonna get play out? And kill the Kiki. What are they gonna do, you know? Or you could kill even the, the treasure creature. Then they played the whole break, I just bounce it again to the hand. And attack them for seven in the air. I think that's actually smart. 
So I take the Titan. I would I, so so the, the Dragon's Fire. I would need to use. No, I actually can tap the treasure. Right. I don't have to use the treasure up. Then attack again, and then I have how much mana? Four, six, eleven. Right. No, ten. And Otavara costs me free with a Galazet, so I actually have enough mana to do all all the things. I can cast this for free and then cast the Titan next turn. So. What do I kill? The Reflection or the Treasure Goblin? I think I do kill the Treasure Goblin, honestly. Yeah. Things could go south if they have like an Arbiter. The 6 mana 5 4 draw 2, discard 1. Yeah, that things could definitely go south, especially with a Kiki out. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's it's better if I just kill the Kiki. Like the one treasure shouldn't make the difference, right? I was thinking I have this Titan in hand, so I can just kill the Kiki next turn. But they have a second Kiki coming anyways. I mean, this game is not gonna last more than two turns. I think they need like a burn down the house. Spam. They can copy that. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, they won't. Hmm. Ah, because they want to play it on defense, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Well, no. Yeah. Hmm. If I would have left them with the, ah, that's a good draw too. Kind of makes the whole breaker horror all of a sudden pretty scary. Oh, they found Dragon's Fire? Jeez. Holy cow. But if you find Dragon's Fire, wouldn't you want to just copy attack me for 8? That seems weird. Huh. Negate. <laughs> okay. So I play my own Titan. And make a 4-4. Four, four. And destroy the Kiki. Yeah. It's a tight game. It depends a little bit on what they draw off the top here. If they draw a spell. Things could get frisky. Dragon's Fire Goldspan was really good off the top. That was really, really annoying. I gotta keep the Otavara around for the whole break, yeah? So they have 8 mana right now. I mean, they would need to draw like... A spell that costs like 2 mana. Or 3, or 1. So they can attack with gold spam. And then play the spell. Okay. They have 10 life. They can't really attack with the Galazet. It's just gonna get eaten. If I attack with everything, oh, they play horror, I bounce it. They jump block here, eat the Galazet, takes seven, go free. And next turn they can just block my Titan. If I bounce the gold span, they play horror and block my Titan. I think I'm losing this. So I just attack with these two, I guess, and then... Okay, maybe I'm not... Uh, okay, losing isn't over. It's, no, I'm not losing. But it's definitely not over. So they have to block one. So they either have to lose their gold span to the Rhino, or they have to jump with the Kiki. No, you drew one drop. No way. No way! <laughs> Come on! 
man. Ah, oh, God, I can't believe it. Hey. That pretty much sums up my luck of the tournament, honestly. Wow. Spend the dragon's fire into into spike field hazard for the exactly survive. So you're gonna get a whole breaker down and copy it. That's gonna happen, I guess. <gasps> oh shit, I think I got him. I think I got him. I'll play this. Target the Kiki. What do you draw? Okay. Yeah, now I can respond with this. Nice. And now they only have one blocker. No, they need another one drop. <laughs> they need another one drop, essentially. But, ah, oh, man, they have the cold spam. What am I talking? <gasps> Why are they not copying it? What? They're not copying the gold spam? They have another one drop. It's, an, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Come on. It is ridiculous. Like... Sorry, but it's unreal. <laughs> okay, now uh, I'm chump blocking, I guess. I mean, I can still win. If they just draw land, land, I can still win. I play Titan, make a 4 4. But uh, I mean, Hope Breaker Horror is a, is a wall, so. I have four, eight, nine mana. So if I draw a land, I could attack and get up to four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Play these two. Oh, I can, I can actually play this and then this. But jump with the rhino. So I'm just hoping they have land in hand. If they don't, I'm dead. So, I can attack the goblin, play, and then I have seven now. Yeah. Okay, it looks like they have land. I hope so. I mean, they might have a Javai disruption. Who knows? They drew a land. Okay, it seems like they drew a land. Alright, so... Um, I guess I gain five, make a four, four, huh? Could blow up the treasure, but no. And if they draw another land, I got him. So they have two blockers, I have enough. They draw one spell to bounce a creature. I still have lethal. If it's a removal spell, I... Alright, we got him. Probably drew two lands. Okay, sorry I got a little mad there, but it was kind of like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, magic can be an emotional game, I guess. I still won, so I mean, but yeah, it was uh, that was close in the end. If they would have drawn a spell last turn to bounce this Titan back to end, I would have definitely lost this game, I think. All right, um, enough of this. So blue red Titan doesn't seem that good. I'll just I'll just board him out for now, but maybe we'll bring back him. Um, Fable is annoying. For this type of matchup, I wish we had another negate. 
Instead of like this prismatic command. Name less bolts. Coma. Should just go with the coma. I mean, coma is a card that can just win any board state, but similar to whole breaker horror, I guess. And it's it's both are bad against fading hope. Coma is really bad against fading hope, though. Coma is really bad there. Um, test of talents, stroke, I guess. And I like the chariot. Hmm, dragon's fire is kind of mediocre. Uh, Banky boy seems okay. Chariot is a little like four drop sorcery, Galazad and Chariot, Gold Span. Uh, four drop sorcery isn't great. I have one bolt here right now, kind of random. I need technically maybe more answers for a resolved dragon. Good dragon's fire. Banky boy is okay, Coma is okay. I don't want to have no late game, you know? Right now, my late game is a little soft. <sighs> Cold Span Dragon is a good card. It's a good card. A little worried about opposing Fables. Maybe that's why you want the Prismatic Command. Or the Titan. Difficult. I don't know. Difficult to sideboard. I kind of want a sideboard guide here. <laughs> like, I could see another Bankbuster. I could not see Coma. I could see second Coma. I don't know what I'm doing is correct. I definitely want, like, more Negates in the sideboard. Negate is a very good card in this in this metagame. Negate is very good against Esper. It's good against these, these blue-red decks, just in general. And a fourth Javari should be in the deck, too. Like, imagine I had a negate over a test of talents here, it would be a lot better. Maybe I'm supposed to board out a dragon. Like, you don't want to have that many sorcery speed things, I feel like. Yeah, this is this is so bad for me. They played around the Javari disruption there, I guess. And now, like, now I kind of have to deploy the chariot and just hope they don't have a gold span dragon here. They have spell pierce, I can instantly concede. They have a no. It's also good. Yeah, like in all you could technically board in in these matchups, I guess. I mean, from my side, it's a little ridiculous because they do only have Fable. From their side, I guess I have Chariots. That would have been a Galazid Prismary. Life would have been more chill. Hmm. Well, I guess we lose this one. They discard it and no Gavanic and that. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm you lo only live once. I, I'm not gonna win this game by casting Express Operations. No way. Okay, resolved. That's huge. Okay, now I have a chance. Oh my god. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Well, at least it's a one for one in a way, but time is not on my side here. <laughs> time is not on my side. Time is on their side. Okay, GG. Alright, get out of here. Bye bye. Yeah. Their draw was really good. Mine wasn't. Um, okay, then against the Anol stuff, I don't want Chariot. That's that's too good against... Uh, no, definitely not. Um, I guess I'll... Galazid is fine. Like, the sizing is just a problem. It doesn't attack into gold span. It's just so annoying. Otavara, ugh, so good against Koma as well. Koma's probably just too risky. Titan, at least, is sort of good against Bounds. I mean, not good against counter spells though. But it's good against Bounds. Ah, uh, tough. Tough, 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 tough. Maybe the Banky Boy. Just play a control game. I do have some counter spells. They're not on Fable. I don't know. I don't know. Chariot seems just so rough against um, the Anul and the Galazet. It's a fine card. It's fine, but like in the late game, it's just kind of underwhelming. A free four flyer is not that great. This Mary Command is kind of like a hedge. Not fantastic, but not terrible either. It, it kills a it kills a, a creature. It, it can do some stuff, like a you know the goblin, or the or the fable. 
And you can cycle if you need to. But I do like the stack a lot. And I think my opponent's deck, the blue-red version, will have more problems against mid-range, against Junt for sure. I wish I had like a way to get ahead here. A Bankbuster, a Deluge, anything. I don't. I'm just playing the stair game. Making land drops, but the stair game, making land drops type of game is not good for the player on the play. I already am up on cards. Uh, I'm already up on tempo. I, I, I'm down on cards is what I meant to say. Not, not up on cards. Um, I'm not happy to do this, but I might have to. Just to get something going, like find a fable, something. Just make a treasure draw too. Bankbuster, Memory Deluge, any of those. Spell Pierce, that's a good card. Okay. I don't think I can play that. I mean, it's just a problem that. I'm opening myself up to the gold span if I play the fable there. I would like to see your hand, if I may. Do you have a negate? Sure. Okay, that, that worked out well for me. Let's hope the hand is not too good. Ugh. It's a strong hand. They have free hole breakers. Jesus Christ. Free is a lot. <laughs> as a lot. If you ever draw multiples, you kind of like, it's not that great. So there are a big score, windfall, we'll break a deck, I guess, and lots of dragons fires, and nolds, Gavanics. I think this is just a, I guess it's trying to beat the mirror match. They don't even have this Daneful Stroke. What? They don't have, oh, they have one. What is Daneful Stroke? You're not beating anybody with this deck, sorry to say. But like, you're just a worse Dragonstorm deck after all. Because if you at least have more counter spells, you'd be a better Dragonstorm deck. Uh, you, you'd be beating the Dragonstorm deck, but you don't. You, you never ever, like... I mean, not never ever. Holebreaker is good against Dragonstorm, but you need more counter spells to actually get to Holebreaker Horror. You die before then. Like, uh, with more counter spells, I mean the Stanford Stroke type of counter spells, because Goldspan is going to get you. It's good to know that they are so low on those. So I can just jam my gold span. So if they jam gold span here, I'm I'm in trouble. If they draw land, to jam gold span, I'm definitely in big trouble. Let's hope they don't draw the land and Yeah, spell pierce. Could also play spell pierce, yeah. This Prismary Command in the sideboard, I think those could be like Negate, Spell Pierce, something like that. Because those cards, Spell Pierce and Negate, are very good against Junt as well, weirdly enough. Because you want to counter Fable, you want to counter um, Chariot, the Planeswalkers, and Spell Pierce is excellent against Esper, and Negate as well, and, and also against Junt, both of them. Um. Yeah, discard one horror. I guess. I mean, I don't need. A, I don't need a second. How many fading ops they had? I think just one. I don't recall. They definitely had an Odovara in their deck. I have to play this. Uh, Unfortunately, it'd be nice to keep it for the horror, but I have to be the first to get the horror down here. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have to get the horror down now. I can just wait, surprise them. They should know what's up here, honestly. Like, uh, But I'm going to be the first to do funny things, so I'm ahead here. I just need an instant. One instant in my top top cards. To, to deal with this horror. Which is not that easy, honestly. Like, this deck does not play that many instants, after all. 
Especially, like, I don't have any spike if it has it. So this deck is definitely a worse horror deck. Which makes me wonder how good horror even is as a sideboard plan. Is that actually what you want to be doing? Against these other controlling or blue-red type of decks? I, I don't have many instants, and instants are so crucial. My, my opponent, there is at least my opponent's playing. A ton of instants. Oh, but the funny thing is, all right, I didn't see that. Now they actually have to play the horror here, and now a sorcery is enough to, to deal with the horror. Uh, Titan I can't cast. So. Yeah, this was brutal. Yeah, this was really good for me. Okay, now they have to play horror and I can just bounce it. It's, yeah, this is, this is, this is not winnable for my opponent anymore. Yeah. Right, I could bounce the treasure. Nice. But if they didn't have the treasure and had a land instead, they can just, you know, like, look at this. If they just had a land instead of the treasure. I play expressive, play my fable, attack for seven. Or attack for seven, then play my fable. They untap. Thundering rebuke my reflection, bounce my horror. Attack me for seven. Have a memory deluge up. And I'm sitting here with, like, a fable in play, I guess. And... They have a memory deluge that can just mess with my seven drops. So crucial that they had the treasure and I could bounce it there to force them to play it. If not, I would have definitely uh, I might have lost this. So that's what I mean. Horror, you kinda need a lot of instants to make it good. So overall, I mean this deck is nice, but I feel like it's could still use some uh, you know some improvements. Um, the counter spell suit. The main deck, maybe the fourth Javai disruption. Um, there could definitely things could be done here. Also, I'm not a fan of Battle of Frost and Fire, if I may say so. Um, like Burned On is just a better card because you can make the Devils, which is kind of kind of big. Um, and five damage can be also important. Yeah, I don't know. Um, both Jabari is definitely tempting. The mana base could probably be improved as well. Like, do you need that many green sources after all? Like, this is a lot of green sources. 8, 12, 15. Yeah, you have a triple green card, but it's a 7 drop, and you have lots of treasures to support it. So, and you're even boarding it out post-board. So what I would do is, like, cut a cascade, play another Jabari. And then in the sideboard, I'm not so sure about Test of Talents. I could see a Spell Pierce. The Bank Bust and the Main Deck is interesting. Main Deck is usually not that grindy. Um, that you need it. Like, Main Deck, they don't have to stain for strokes. They don't have discard. So Bank Bust is a lot worse. Um, Coma. Coma, yeah. Like, Coma, I see the appeal. But it's... It's risky. Like, if they have Infernal Grasp or Void Rent, you get blown out so badly. If they have Fading Hope, you get blown out. Against Junt, it's definitely not good. They have Rivety's Charm. So I think I can go down on those. Um, the Horror Plan, I don't like that too much either. You want to be the guy who's good against Horror. not You, wanna, you don't want to be the person who plays the Horror himself. Mm. So the Chariots, I'm not sure either. Which Mary Command... Uh, Flame Blast Bolt. So, like, I would add a Spell Pierce to the main deck, perhaps. I like one Spell Pierce in the main. Add a Negate to the side. And... Something like a Cinder Clasm could be okay. It's pretty good against Junt. It's Mary Command. Maybe another Memory Deluge. <clears throat> Gold span. Well, I'll think about more. I think more about how how I want to uh, build the stack. Um, something against runes like an a null would be nice too, I suppose. A little bit more help there because it's kind of light against runes this deck so far. To be fair, Titan plus Fable might just be the killer, and maybe I'm see not seeing that because runes doesn't have much removal, so they can't kill the Kiki Jiki. And then if you get that online, if you don't die until then, you just win, I guess. <laughs> They're not going to beat you blowing up the enchantments every turn. 
Uh, okay, that was Teamer Control. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm pretty uh, pumped about the deck because I, I want to make changes. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm into it. Um, yeah, I like it. I like the idea a lot. Uh, I'm just the, the one big worry is that the breakout deck of the tournament, Dragonstorm. Ah, that might be tough. That might be tough. You might uh, need more spell peers. Uh, more negates, yeah, something like that. Um, because that matchup, or like at least the main deck, you know, like game one, you're just conceding. They just play a dragon, you lose, essentially. Like, you don't have any answer for a dragon. So you could already improve that matchup by putting disdainful strokes into your main deck, but there's so much worse than negate that you probably just want to take the loss against Dragonstorm, and that's just how it is. And then you beat, hopefully, the rest of the format. All right, in any case, um, if you like the content, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Highly appreciate that and um always leave leave a comment um, for the algorithm or just in case i made a misplay point something out let's talk about the games i'm always reading the comments and um yeah thanks for watching everybody see you next time bye bye